Hi guys, so Marlon Dutoy, who was supposed to do this next um, video blog on the Sunday Times travel photograph of the year, uh, is actually on safari. So once again, I'm going to be stepping in. Um, my name is Andrew Beck from Wild Eye, and um, I'm going to be looking at some of the, the winning entries from the month of July in the travel uh, photograph of the year, which is sponsored by Canon. So in third place is an image from Nathan Stassen called uh, Photographic Training. And Training is a bit of a pun there because you've got a, a train which is actually moving through this. I believe this was taken in Culp Bay. Um, very good to actually manage the, the kind of dynamic range in here. Very clever, slow shutter speed, a long exposure, the blurring of the train, but still being able to see through on the, on the side there. Quite a trippy image. Great composition and use of leading lines here. So Nathan, this is a, this is a fantastic image. I really, really like this. As a runner-up, uh, an image titled Cash by uh, Tammy Lieberman. And this image has quite a lot going on, but clean lines, repetition, both in the, the vertical lines as well as the horizontal lines, two bright orange traffic cones, and then of course this man in a bright yellow suit, which looks as though he's about to have a helmet drop on his head. Um, just reading the description, this guy was actually putting on a bit of a show, throwing his hat up and down and twirling, and I think uh, captures the energy of, of the scene very well. But for me, the, the vertical lines and the repetition throughout here, and then obviously this man's expression and the, the composition um, of him being off onto the center, off, off to the side of the frame, works really well. And then of course the winning image. Um, and this comes from Larry Kreuter, and sure, this is a, quite a powerful image. I, I believe it was taken in Cuba, um, a lot going on here. Shutter speed is perfect, so the movement of the, the woman coming in from the left-hand side of frame is crisp and sharp, but there's a bit of movement in the raindrops. You can see the actual rain gliding and falling, which gives you that sense of movement. Um, the mood, the scene, you've got people kind of tucked away in between these little entrances, all these bright colors, the Epinema hats on the right-hand side there, composition, the leading lines working through the image from the, the top left all the way through to the bottom right. Just an incredible storytelling image, which from a travel side of things is exactly what the guys are looking for. You, it really, it almost places you in the, in the street yourself. You can almost feel the, the humid air and environment that these people are living in. So yeah, those are your winning images from July. Um, the next video blog is gonna be back on the wildlife side of things. And uh, yeah, as always, if you think that you've got better images, you need to get entering. So check out the Sunday Times Travel Wildlife Photograph of the Year competition on Facebook. Uh, all the details are there and get your entries in, guys. From me, that's it. Cheers.